Yo guys, my name is Clay, and in today's video, we're going to be checking out the new buffed PDSW. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. Today's like goal is going to be 40 likes. So if you could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it, and it means a lot to me, and it helps out the channel a bunch. Okay, so as you can see with the patch notes, the main things that got buffed that I was looking for was the damage range increase, the ADS spread or speed increase, and the hip spread decrease. That is mainly what I was going for with this class setup as you can see on the screen for the barrel i'm going to be using the 17 inch corvus pro range barrel it adds bullet velocity damage range just to give us a little bit more hip or hip fire accuracy and recoil control and for the barrel tuning i'm going to be going with recoil steadiness because this gun does have a lot of recoil and i'm going to be adding damage range to the uh, barrel okay so with the under barrel i'm going to be using the ftac ripper 56 it adds aiming idle stability hip fire accuracy and recoil stabilization so for the under barrel tuning i'm going to be adding recoil stabilization and aim walking speed over on the rear grip i'm going to be using the bruin q900 grip it adds sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed and for the tuning i'm going to be going with aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed the comb, I'm going to be using the TV TAC comb. It adds sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The tuning, I'm going to be going with aim walking speed and aim down sight speed. And for the stock, I'm going to be using the CQB stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. It does take off a little bit of recoil control, but that's fine. For the tuning, I'm going to be going with mainly aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. That is going to be it for this class setup. It did get a huge buff. And I thought it would be good to make a class setup, making it even better. This, these attachments make this gun so much better. And it feels like a completely new gun. Like, they did a good job with buffing this. And it'll be a lot easier to get long shots with it in the future whenever I do go for platinum. So if you guys try this class setup out and you like it, please let me know down in the comments. I have a crazy gameplay for you guys. And also, if you have a better class setup that's even better than this one, Please let me know what that is down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Hit that like button and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we're going to be checking out the PDSW. I did mainly build this out for a damage range because that's what it struggled with before the uh, buff. And it, it struggles with recoil too, but I'm pretty sure that was part of the nerf, or uh, I keep saying the nerf, the buff. <clears throat> but we're gonna we're gonna test it out. This is my first my first game with it. I have decoys on. That's not gonna be good. Hopefully nobody comes up behind me. Oh my gosh. I have RPG. Oh my. I mean, I guess it worked. I'm going to try my best to get a good game. It's not really going so well. My team only has one kill. <clears throat> I do have a veto, so that's good. I can go ahead and put that on the next hard point. And we can go ahead and I did play one game earlier where I I forgot I even I put on flash and it froze my game so oh okay it, it didn't uh, freeze my game so I definitely need flashes what is he doing behind there Come on, teammates. We gotta, we gotta play as a team here. We're not gonna win. Alright, I'm gonna try to streak up again here. Oh my gosh, the damage range is actually really good. This might be the n new meta for real. Like, I'm not even. Is there a guy back here? Look how good that is. It might be so easy to get long shots with this now. Alright, this is going to be the real test. I'm going to 
I'm gonna go up here. Try to get a kill. I think you can probably tune it a little bit better for a recoil, but yeah, the recoil is definitely still questionable. That's a long shot. That's a long shot. Have another VTOL just in case. Throw that nade over there. I'm gonna push up here and try to look overhead the hard point. I always sit in that little corner. What he loves that shield. Alright, so my team is spawning behind me. I have an advanced UAV. I'm just gonna sit up here. All right, they're, they're gonna be coming from here, I think. I think I'm on a 14. That's a 15, yep. Throw this down. My teammate is on my right, so he is protecting the stick. Oh. On a 16. Probably get a nuke with this gun. Didn't mean to do that. No. Uh, I thought I had some teammates behind me. All right, we're just gonna pop this advanced UAV. Yeah, he he loves sitting on the hard point with that shield. I mean, there's only so much I can do. <clears throat> I keep dying to my... I don't know what is wrong with me. Move, teammate. You almost got me killed. That was like a little double kill. No, please don't die to the nade. They're spawning back here. I'm on another 10. I'm gonna put this. Can I call my veto in? Let's call in the advanced UAV. I could probably spawn trap them back here. I need some more ammo. Teammates are playing on the hard point. We're on 55 kills. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the nuke, but Secure the target area. Holy shit! 
They have a. How did they get a veto? I uh, have 63 kills. This is a pretty good game. Could probably make it 70. Got to find out. Oh. Teammates are going to jump on the hard point now. I have 68 kills. <clears throat> Can definitely make it 70. Hey, probably make it more. All right, we have 71 kills. That's really good game. All right, that is going to end at 73 kills. GG's.